Oh, hello, everybody. It is Wednesday afternoon, 5 p.m. That's right. We're stepping on Aaron's gray beards, but it's because we didn't want to take a break from fulfilling core draft at 3 p.m. and get out of the groove that we were in because we, my friends, are in a shipping fulfillment groove right down below in the garage. We got tables set up. My wife's car, she's at work. So we're taking up that space. The post office is hating us right now. Not only is it Christmas, but we are sending out Christmas gifts to everybody who backed it. And there is a lot going out. Ho, ho, ho. Santa Claus Dennis, his merry elf Andy right here packaging up boxes and stuff. We've seen him on Twitter being social media around with pictures and people are saying how much they enjoy it. Uh, that's the best Christmas gift I could get. That doesn't get you off the hook from buying me something, by the way. <laughs> it's always about me. Getting I know how cheap you are. This goes one way and one way only. So we will see. Look, buddy, you already effed me out of the fantasy football playoffs. You screwed me again this year. By the way, way only fifty percent of your hosts made it to the playoffs this year. Uh, oh, it would be this fifty percent. That one, he can't just shut me out of the stream now because I am here live, and he can't just get rid of me. That's right. No, but I'm my in the daughter playoffs. is number one, baby. My she daughter is, is the, the number, number one seed. seed. So out of all the Smiths, one out of the three of them made it in. So 33% of the Smiths made it into the playoffs. Not a bad. Uh... Four out of the four Turners did. So we are on a roll. Oh, you're really counting. Eh. You're really counting your brother and sit. They're not yep, even in they're, state. They're not. It doesn't state. matter. It doesn't count. We're a nationwide organization. Yeah, but when it comes right down to it, four out of four Turners won't win the Super Bowl. So we'll find out. We'll I find out. say it now. Mark my words. He, his wife, his brother, his brother's wife will not win the Super Bowl. Mark the we'll tape. We'll find out because Courtney plays my wife week number one. So who is going to make it? Who is going to survive? My 20-year-old daughter is going to take that old lady downtown and spank her around this weekend. Nice. I'm pretty sure at some point here, Joe Bernardo will get on there and make his prediction. Cowboys still a thing. You damn right they are. Ten and three. Top three teams in the NFC. Niners, Cowboys, Eagles in that order. So just saying, and hello, Past Master Dan, how are you? Randy Howell in the house, of course, popping links. Dennis should file a workplace harassment claim as Andy's been hanging <laughs> mistletoe over his workstation. Yep. Hence why I don't go to his workstation ever. So Guys, that the only is missile, all true. The only mistletoe I hang is around my belt buckle. That's it. Yeah, so it's a really tiny mistletoe. Yeah, just kiss below the mistletoe, baby. That's all I'm saying. Well, Not you. Well, guys, Not notice you. this is an odd week because we have been literally fulfilling every morning through later in the uh, evening and uh, getting stuff out. Yeah, I know, Marcus. It, it's true. Nothing can be said about it. My expectations are low. Just like my expectations with everything Andy says is low, so I'm used to these expectations. Bastard. Dr. Mass, look at that. Dr. Mask in the house. Uh, Dan Genovese's here. I know, uh, I believe his book went out yesterday. I did. We saw your label go through. So, That's guys, right. I'm uh, very excited. I know a lot of you guys have been making lots of... Uh, Comments and posting pictures, and uh, yeah, that's awesome. Yep, we really do sincerely appreciate all the feedback and the posting of pictures. We have uh, about 460-some, pushing right around 500, including Kickstarter packages to send out. Uh, you know, you got the update that I sent out last week about uh, Bud Roots cover having a printing error. So those are being redone and we should be getting those shortly and uh, we'll start shipping those out. So basically 
Um, if you got a cover, we have shipped out everything except for any package containing a bud root uh, cover D. Now the black and white bud root cover was fine, so those have gone out. So as soon as we get the corrected bud root covers in, we can start flying those out the door. We are just and, waiting uh, for shipping notification from the printer. Exactly. We're hoping any time now. So uh, we, we've got our fingers crossed. Um, yeah. yeah. But it is. Yep. Marcus got his books. But guys, it is the Christmas spirit. It is. It is Christmas up in here. Dennis forgot his hat. So I'll represent for the both yeah. of us with the coolest Santa hat ever. Right there. No, Here, no, because you said you like next wear? week. You can wear this. So Andy did say we're going to wear Santa hats next week. I did. So I would not bother to bring one this week since it wasn't put out there. You could be preemptive. You know, yeah, I could be preemptive, and I could have just hidden that thing so you never found it. I mean, you're it. preemptive in the bedroom from what I hear from your wife. So, I mean, why not carry through with everything else? It's really weird how you always have these strange conversations with my wife. Notice it never goes anywhere. I'm not the one that calls her. She calls me. She, I'm her therapist for her being married to you. Guys, if anybody needs a therapist, go ahead and call Andy. See what kind of help you get. So, guys, you know how we normally do. We are not having a guest this week, but besides the update, we've got a lot going on. We had a convention this weekend. Yeah. Um, we usually go to the movie theaters every week to see one. This week, however, we have decided we are going to watch a movie. Um, we are going to be watching a movie and uh, Lady Ballers. So yep. we're watching that on the Daily Wire. Yep. So uh, if you guys haven't seen, if you guys have not seen um, the trailer for it, I would highly suggest you go watch that because uh, it looks kind of fun. I got to admit, I'm not sure if that's something we'd get a hit for if we showed it. You know? <laughs> No, YouTube would. YouTube you think would. So? Yeah, I'm pretty they hate sure those guys. Yeah, they would. They yeah, would I, I think they would. They would give us a hit. All right. Well, anyhow, so yeah, so we're watching Lady Ballers tomorrow afternoon. So Friday morning, expect a review of Lady Ballers from us. Um, uh, as the title of the show said, Christmas time in comic books. What we're going to do is, uh, we realized, holy crap, we didn't do a what did the guys get from the con stream? And by the way, we had a great convention. Sold some cord drafts, sold a couple t-shirts. It was a really fun show. But of course, we were able to get up and do a little walking and shopping. And that is what we did as well. So we're going to show you some of the books we picked up. Maybe talk about if we ever got comics for Christmas um, and, uh, and stuff like that. And just have kind of a fun show. Uh, we are going to show you what we got. Yeah. We're going to do our hashtag comics haul because we did pick up some good books. A lot of our favorite friends well, I mean, I and picked retailers. Up, I picked up there. good books. You, I saw your selection. Then. You know what? You guys can determine it. You know, you'll see our books and then you can either choose Andy or you can choose me. I mean, there's nothing I wanted more than an issue of Bewitched. Said no one. Ever. Wow. Said no. Wow. One so much hate coming out. Well, uh, we, you guys get to make up your mind. Well, we know who they'll go with. Yeah, the main yeah. man, the guy yeah. with taste. So why don't you oh, lead you us first? A bitch. So a buddy of mine knew I was looking for this one particular book. I only have, I believe, two or three issues of it. I probably will never buy any more after this one. That is. The Adventures of Jerry Lewis, the ones I already own, drawn by legendary Neil Adams. But guys, when Superman guest stars in an issue of Jerry Lewis, you know I'm getting it. And I did. And it's a fun little tale I read uh, Sunday night. Uh, Superman, basically Lex Luthor is going after Superman and he shoots him with a fine mist of kryptonite. So it's not enough to like take him out, but he just feels weaker. He kind of his powers kind of go awry in a way. And Perry White sends uh, Superman to go interview uh, Jerry's nephew because he's some kid that won something or whatever. And when he's there, Jerry finds the Superman costume and puts it on. And Lex tracks him there through the kryptonite particles. 
and uh, cannot believe that Clark Kent is not Superman, but this weird skinny dude named Jerry Lewis is. It's a funny, funny book, and uh, I got a kick out of it. And thank you, Sam, for uh, bringing it to the con for me. You knew I was looking for it, and you delivered. So it's too early, Sibley. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not a DC hater. I just like Marvel a lot better than DC back in, in the day. So, And it's too early. Besides, I don't do a lot of Marvel or DC. Every once in a while, I'll get some back issues. So well, This is a horror book, so if you're very scared, you, might yes, want, this you want me to hold a, it up since I got a better a, a view real, and stuff yeah, and you talk go ahead. about it? Yeah. This is so, a Dennis book, as in why, oh, why? So I'll start low, and I'll work up to the good stuff, guys. Trust me, there's some really good stuff at the end. You heard it here. Not good stuff right here. Timmy the Timid Ghost. I always did kind of enjoy it. You know, that actually uh, predates uh, me. Uh, no. That's 1959. It is Andy's age. so uh, I don't think so. Oh. By the way, Dennis's birthday was Sunday. Everybody wish Dennis a happy birthday. He is now 54, just I like me. I am the same age as Andy now, so... Oh, look at that. The crowd loves you. You're now 54, so you can buy Timmy the Timid Ghost. And Bass Master Dan, a man of taste, even has one. Oh, yeah. Oh, there you go. I've got issue number uh, uh, 17. These are always what just fun. That? Still issue number 17. Oh, I thought you meant you had 17. And no, this one. is issue number 17. So that's I don't know if I'll collect them all, but these are just kind of fun ones. So when I do come up with them, I will do it. So, yes, oh, guys, man. thank you. It was a great day. My birthday literally was on the day of the convention. So we, uh, a number of us did go out to eat. We went to Texas Roadhouse after. Marcus joined us and got to hang out uh, with us, guys. It was a blast. We had lots of uh, steak, good stuff to eat. It was an entirely great day. Bud Root joined us uh, yep. as well. My buddy uh, Chris, he was there. So, yeah, had a great time. It was good. Dennis, of course, ordered the 12-inch the tube steak. Uh, he likes it very uh, well done. And uh, there you go. That's what he ate. Yep, and Andy likes his, uh, his uh, tube steaks much smaller. He likes the 1.3-inch ones, and uh, that's about it. You're up. Oh, I am. Uh, one dealer had $3 stuff, and it was just good old stuff beat up. A few of these books I already have, but the copies I bought are in my spin rack. Oh, yeah, buddy. Uh, so I got, even though I already have the whole run, these are drawing Captain Marvel. Very cool. And, of course, Jim Starlin, Captain Marvel. These are for the spin rack, three bucks a piece. And then another one out of the dude's box. And I already have a very nice copy of this. I mean, look at this back cover. Oh, all torn. Three bucks. Captain America and the Falcon. John Remetta Sr. Goodness. The brush is flowing. He is just, oh my, he did not draw. I love this Spider-Man. Got to tell you, John Remetta Sr., I take his Spider-Man over Dicko's. But I would much rather have seen him do like a 20-issue run on Captain America. This is just great stuff. I mean, look at it's probably hard to see. The man's drawing Nixon. Nixon! Come that on. Is a, that is a good a, a issue. It is. And it's not cheap when you get a good copy, which I... And it's all I Fem do, Force, uh, and you know... That's and right. When they, they try to get oh, Fem Force... What was that uh, dialogue you were talking about? No, it, it was great. There, there was a uh, great, but, you know, could have sure probably thought of that ahead of time. No, I can still look for it while you're jabbing about what you got. So, I got War Stories. So, this is Combat. Um, this one is, is always a, a cool one. Um, I do like collecting uh, a lot of the World War II ones. I don't get them all. Did you take that But that head? one is, I did. That one is, this is the uh, raid on Regensburg. And, you know. Here you go. I'll do it for you because yeah. I do want to look at it. Here. Yeah. It, it is It is cool. I do like, I do collect uh, a lot of the World oh, War uh, II ones that are on it. 
Um, Sam Glansman um, did the uh, art in it. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, we... I love it when you do great planes, you know, either like Mustangs or the Corsairs or the B-17s or the Mitchells, the 25s. You know, I will pick those up. So to get one that was in pretty decent shape, really enjoyed that one. So Back when you were seeing ads for Daisy BB gun rifles. Had one of those growing up. Shot oh, his man. eye out. Oh, yeah. no, no, no. Yeah, no, no. So, you know, got the combat. So that one was uh, uh, pretty cool. And then I'll just, since you're... You go right ahead. Battle of the Bulge, another one. It's a, another World War uh, a two one. Um, that one is um, a movie classic from the very classic uh, um, great movie. So I think that one was 1966. Um, yeah. Loved, loved the movie. I do own the movie. And uh, if I can find some of these, I will pick them up. You know, I want to say Battle of the Bulge. I believe I heard that's the title of Lizzo's next album. So be on the lookout for it. Jimmy Reyes. Hola. Jimmy Reyes into his house. What is up, Jimmy? Hello. Oh, look at that. 71 backers. Oh, oh that's just the link. He said 71. I know I saw that somewhere. Oh, there it is. 71. Ah, oh, went up one. Nice. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, I'll talk about the campaign later. You know, I got this. I didn't need it because I did already pick one up, but a buddy of ours who's a dealer brought it to the con. So because he brought it for me and it's in a lesser condition, why not? Two copies I now own of Silver Hawks. Uh, I only want number one because my buddy Jim Sanders, who I shared a studio with back in the early 90s, uh, may he rest in peace. He passed away a few years back, unfortunately. He made, uh, I mean, Mike Witherby is a good artist, but if you look at number one with Jim Sanders inks, and he's a slick inker, and then you look at like every issue after that that was inked by somebody else, Jim made a world of difference. And I mean, it, very nice. It's a shame. I don't know why he was pulled off of it. Um, I'm just trying to see a date. This is 1987. I know Jim did ink some Hulk stuff over Todd McFarlane, so maybe that's why. But uh, I'll take another Silver silver Hawks. So there you and, go. and the buddy who sold it to him, he did have something cool there, different. He had a sealed Jaws laser disc uh, graded at an 8.5. Uh, it was kind of interesting. I He, he does all the sealed uh, VHS stuff. Yep. Got to yeah. love it. I don't get behind. I, I don't understand that sealed VHS stuff, but you know, I got my shipping notica notification today. Yeah, you did. That means it went out because everything we packed up today, we were able to see the the, the postal woman. She backs up my driveway in her yep. big truck, lets us load everything in the back of the truck for her, and uh, takes it away. So if you got your shipping notification. You'll probably get it before Christmas, depending on where you live. I mean, obviously, if you're in another country, you probably won't get it until. The and we year. we have seen a bunch of labels: some to the UK, some to New Zealand, the uh, Netherlands, Netherlands, Finland, Finland, Norway. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So, no Japan. Yeah, I have not seen a Japan. Or China. Yet. Yeah. No Taiwan. They don't like barbarian fantasy, I guess. We'll find out. But oh, yes, no. no, there are shipping notifications all over the world. Pretty cool. Yep. Oh, let's oh, I got it for you. Yeah. I know you're you're stuck. It's your arms are like your legs, short. They can't really reach that far. Not true. US fighting men. There you go. I have the adult version called US Fighting Nude Women. Um there, we'll explain it. And, and he lost it that one too. Again, it's uh it's one Chuck Austin. Um, you know, I love those, um, type of things. And, you know, really? and, and I just picked up another one along there, another one of the, uh, a plane that I've gotten to tour many times, uh, over the years. Um, this one is, this is Dell number 831, the story of the, uh, the B-52 bombers. This looks like a Joe Kubert cover. Mm. Huh. Well, Andy's going to be researching that. I it can has see traits. That. It, no, definitely, definitely has traits of Joe Hubert. 
This one is No yeah. Sleep Till Dawn, the story of the B-52 bombers. Uh, I've gotten tours of, of a number of them. I love those bombers. They're, they, they still fly them. They still have uh, upgraded them. So they are indeed cool. That is cool. Notice the story of the bombers B-50. Wow. No sleep to Brooklyn. Da -na -na. Da -na. Da -da. One so, of Dennis's favorite bands. So you bands. know what we will do, guys? What I'll, I'll do is I've actually got a string of them here. That are all kind of tied into. Uh, Wait, you're just gonna keep going. To, huh? I, I might as well because you got such a small pile. Son of a bit. Wow. Yep. Size shaming. All, always, uh, always with the small pile. Best. So now we'll get on to some now of we the got fun ones. That Gomer are pile. Gomer pile. Come on. You got to give some love for Gomer pile. Uh, um, Is they Jim did... neighbor still with us, or did he die? No, he's gone. Uh, Gold Key put out a three-issue Gomer Pile. I was a huge fan of the TV show. So that is number three. So I will be collecting all of those. Oh, boy. In that uh, the same exact vein is McHale's Navy number three. Same thing. There's only a few issues. That is, is Ernest Borg 9. Ernest Borg 9 and McHale's Navy. Watch that growing up. Yeah, love that. It's another great one. And, uh, you know, I'm going to get the – there aren't many of them out there, so I will be picking up the uh, entire run of it. And another classic in that vein, oh, Hogan's shit. Heroes, everybody. Hogan's Heroes with that uh, – what was his name? Bob what? Uh, Bob Kane. Uh, no, what did you just say? Bob Kane? Bob, Bob Kane did freaking creep. That's not Bob Kane. Bob, Bob. Oh my God. Bob, Bob. Somebody in the chat will tell us Bob uh, Horny Toad uh, Crane. Crane? No, it's not. Maybe Bob that's Crane. what I was saying. Come on, you guys. Now, now Andy's got everybody flushed. Shazam! That's Hogan's. right, Jim Neighbor. Shazam! But Hogan's Bob Crane. Crane. There it is, Bob Crane. See, I was close. Horny Toad Bob, Bob Crane. Thank you. Look at that. Past Master Dan was first. Look at them all. Look at them all popping up with the answers. Love it. And uh, yeah, guys, this was a, another great series. Sergeant Schultz. I know no, nothing. nothing. I know nothing. And then the guy, uh, Richard, uh, blank on his last name, that went on to host Family Feud. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Yeah, Richard Dawson. Dawson, that's it. Yep. Yeah. Went on to uh, host Bob Crane went out in a spectacular way. Yeah, he did. With the ladies. What? I don't know. I'm going to go now. Yeah. Even though I'm going to show, I'm going to, I'm going to rattle through three dollar coverless books. Uh, for three bucks, I'll take a Giant Invaders number one to throw on my spin rack. This bad boy, drawn by Frank Robbins, inked, inked by the great, I said great, Vinny Coletta. Vinny really brought a different look to uh, Frank's work. He, he, he illustrated it up some. Frank's work when he inks himself is very kniff. Uh, Coletta is a little more scritchy, scratchy, uh, pen type stuff. I really like the combination of those two guys. Spin rack, uh, another two for the spin rack. I got, I got King Size Avengers number one for the spin rack. This baby, not only no front cover, no back cover, just cover less. I love it. And even says who used to own it. I should try and track him down on Google and go, dude, I found your comic. Uh, so that's King Size Avengers number one. And then uh, uh, King Size Avengers or Avengers King Size Special. Number two, no cover on the front or back. Uh, Don Heck, Warner Roth. What's up, Nintendo Ginger? Also inked by Vinny Coletta. Jose Adelbo drew Hogan's Heroes number five. No shit. What number do you have? That's three. Damn. I'll have to see if I've got five at home. I I'd be real I'm curious to see that. All. I love Jose's work. So, yeah. So, had to get, you know, coverless, three bucks, goes on the spin rack, good fun, giant size reads. You damn right I want to get that. All right. Go ahead. All right. Next. 
This is the one Andy was complaining about at the beginning. I'm not complaining about it. I'm just saying, you know, I think when he reads this book, he's going to wear a dress. Come on, Bewitched. Give me a thumbs up, guys, if you like Bewitched. We do I like the TV show. Be, I love Bewitched. I love the TV I like uh, both of the Darren uh, scenes oh, yeah, that, that were in there. And uh, a great show. Another one. I will probably collect the entire uh, How many runner. were there? 14. Wow. Is this your first one? No, no. I've got a couple. You complained about the last time. I picked up number uh, one and you complained. Did you really? Yes. Wow. Yes. Will you yes. even look at this? Oh, absolutely I will. Oh, at checking. some point. And so then point. there's one. Uh, a number one. This is it. This is How many issues of this are there? So Mission Impossible was another dun, show dun, that dun, I dun, loved. Dun, dun, um, dun, 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 and there dun, are five dun. of the Mission Impossibles. So I always I do kind of like them. I think I've got issue three at home. So I will be checking it out. But man, I do love uh Mission Impossible. So Marcus says that Dicko drew number three, and I'm assuming he means Hogan Hogan's hero. So that's I got to tell you, that's really cool. Steve Ditko drawing Hogan's Heroes and my man, Jose. Jose just had a birthday not too long ago. So Mission Impossible number Thanks, one. Randy. I'll give him a good one on this. That's a good deal. Nice. Nice. Uh, I like it. I can get behind that. Yeah. There you, you go. go. Finally. Really good one. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So you're saying that's my first good book. All right, Mr. Oh. Oh. Let's go. Go. Go for it. I am. This one. Uh. Nice shape. Definitely goes in the box of uh, stuff not to sell. Uh, Rich Buckler, Dan Atkins. Rich Buckler doing his best Kirby on the inside. Giant size Avengers number one. Oh, hell yes. Had to get this sucker. Uh, I was actually looking for one, two, and three. And I got number one. And for three whole dollars... That's right. I got number three. Now I just need number two. I wanted this one because it is drawn by none other than Mr. Dave Cockrum, inked by Joe Giella. Uh, what year was Giant Size X-Men number one? 75? Uh, yeah. This is 1974. Dave Cockrum showing us what it's all about. Pre-Giant Size X-Men. Drawing the Avengers. Nice Gil Kane cover. Had to get that for three bucks. Not going on the spin rack. I will bag and board it and put it with the number one. So there you go. You can just pop both of those. Oh, together. yeah. Are they the same book? Yes, they are. Yeah. Same title. So you guys He's know. getting his geek on. I am uh, I am slowly trying to finish off the entire run of the gold key. I've got the trades, the original trades when they came out. Um, you know, I've got of the bulk of the run, but I'm always looking for copies that I need that are in pretty good shape. Um, these are from a dear friend of ours, Larry Allen, um, longtime dealer, friends with he and his family, his wife, Robin. Larry passed, um, uh, well, what, about two weeks ago? About two weeks ago. Sometimes yeah. he would join us in the chat, say hi. Yep, he's been on our show. Great guy. Larry, his entire family, his grandkids would come to the show. Uh, I picked up a lot of these books, you know, the Mission Impossible, the Bewitch, the Hogan's Heroes, all of that stuff. He loved a lot of that weird kind of fun comic stuff that I did. Larry passed, so Robin was, uh, you know, trying to sell off a lot of his comics and stuff like that. Yeah. And, um, you know, I bought stuff, many stuff from... Uh, uh, items from Larry over the years. So it kind of broke our heart, but you know, always got a piece of it. Larry always had great stuff. So, you know, Larry, thank you. You know, even around, we will definitely miss you at the shows, bud. Yep. I, that's where I got the giant size Avengers number one. So yeah, he was, uh, he was a treasure at the conventions. So, all right. Uh, last comic I got, cause I got some books too. Actual books. Dennis did as well. Nice little reprint here, square bound. Uh, this came out in, uh, let's see, do, do, 1999, Avengers Ultron Unleashed. Guys, you can't go wrong with this. First couple stories are Behold the Vision and even an Android Can Cry by the great Roy Thomas and John Buscema. 
I mean, guys, when I saw that splash page, I own the issue. I just fell in love. Love John Buscema's work. These are just two of my favorite issues that he's drawn. Uh, I have the original issues, but now I can throw these copy, throw this on the spin rack. Because my spin rack is basically to jazz me up when I'm just like, duh. And uh, looking at this stuff, there's a specific, uh, oh, right there. I mean, come on. Come on. Let's get comics back to this. And then, of course, the last two issues in the book uh, are from uh, Jim Shooter and George Perez. And they're issues 170 and 171. Funny thing, I already own actually 171, but I do not own 170. And, uh, you know, 170, I might have to get it just so I can say I own every issue that was in this. But, ah, great, Captain America working out in the old training room. Just love it. Ah, Chris Lord is in the house calling Dennis a hoe. Well, that's not very nice. Very good. Uh, were there any Conan Christmas issues? There might have been. I'm not sure. So, yeah, so this spin rackable, and uh, there was a comment said, let's see the spinner rack from Agent Cub. It's not a bad idea. Maybe one day uh, I'll do a stream where I aim the camera at the spin rack and just kind of take it around and go through the different levels and stuff so you can see what's on the spin rack. Nice. Look at that. Marvel superhero. Oh, now we're getting into the real good stuff. Number 30. Uh, you know, it was just, that's cool. Uh, you know, one of the issues I didn't have, again, uh, I think it was Larry had it. It was uh, one of those ones I'm like, yeah, fills in a link. I love the, the, the story on it. So, you know, Ultimo. Uh, Jimmy Ray says, Andy Smith comic art. Nice collection, guys. I'll be buying your stuff when you guys pass. Jimmy, you're going to have to cut a lot more lawns to be able to afford our collections. That's all I'm saying. That's right. Get so, out to those Home Depot street corners, pal, and start picking up some of that day labor. Make that money. Yeah. So that that is one, and this will definitely be one that I will read because it isn't one. I, I read all those. That, do you even know get. what it reprints? You have no idea. I, I do. I do. Oh. But um, so you're not going to tell them. But Ultimo, you know, so anyway, guys. So you're just, the... you're just not going to tell them what nope. it reprints? Nope. Wow, way to tease the audience. I guess I'll have to look and tell them. Nope. What a D. What a big D you are, not telling people what it reprints. So, guys, this one is cool. Um, you guys know, I just saw them in, uh, I, I just saw them in concert again. I do love the rock and roll ones. Um, you know, when, when I did see Motley Crue, uh, I love Motley Crue. Yeah, um, they they might not be considered my favorite, but they they are at that top. Um, even my comic shop, it, there's no listing for it even in there. It's really it's really awesome. Uh, issue number four, I love these. You know the the art our artists they have and all the little stories that they do that are in there. These are always uh, fun uh, fun ones. So I do tend to pick up those. No, I won't be dropping in Graybeards. I know they're doing Barbarians. Aren't they drawing just straight with a ballpoint pen or something? Isn't that what the theme is also today? Um, I mean, if neither one, if none of them pick Cordrath, I'm kind of hurt. I'm, I'm going to say. I'm just kind of hurt if they didn't choose. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, and you guys are going to sit down and read all the comics? Well, I don't buy them to look at them, especially the spin rack ones. I buy them to and read. Sometimes. This one we already started flipping through. <laughs> Crap. You know, you guys know me. I was a huge X-Men guy. Got everything. So when they had something like that, you know, it's got that nice glossy four-page uh, poster that's on the inside. Um yeah, it's the X Mental Patients versus the Nuked Kids on the Block comic inside. So I already kind of went through and, and read that. I picked it up for that. That was uh, pretty awesome. So why don't you show us the book, your first book? Our buddy Carl, Big Carl. We call him Big Carl because the dude is seven feet tall. Literally. Seven three. Seven three. Big Carl. Big Carl specializes in older books like Dennis was showing. Uh, not new stuff, that is for sure. He apparently just picked up a collection of... Didn't know uh, that existed, so I will go look for oh, it. I didn't know Thank that you. existed either. That would be awesome, actually. So Carl picked up a big, big collection of hardcover books and omnibuses and things like that. 
He brought him to the show. I, I saw a couple. I'm like, how much? And Carl's like, I tell you, I'm just looking at eBay, seeing what they go for, and then giving you a price. So I was like, all right, let's go. What are we going for? What are we going for, Big Carl? Well, right out of the gate, he has uh, Strange and Stranger, The World of Steve Ditko. It's a nice hardcover book, nice and thick. Probably be a subject of a book look in the future after I read it. Uh, Fantagraphic. Uh, Fanographics Books put this out for cover price $39.99. Big Carl's price $15. $15 freaking dollars. $15. I want my $15. That's right, guys. Uh, I, you know, I, I've said it before. Steve Ditko is one of those guys I was not a fan of growing up. I just, I don't know, it just to look weird to me, so I, I really wasn't a fan. However, as I grew as an artist, I came to really appreciate his work, and um, I love reading. I love these big biographies about artists, so I'm looking forward to diving into this and giving it a read. So that's one of them. So, yes, I may be interested. I'm just looking at filling in holes, so you can always uh, message me. Um, what I will do is, guys, I'll pop this up if it will show it. You can always just mail them to Dennis as a Christmas gift. Just saying. Yeah. So, um, anyway, you can message me, guys, on X at Dinges Comics or at YouTube if you go to at Dennis Turner. You can just go ahead and message me on there, and I, I would be happy to find out. Like I said, I'm just missing a few uh, issues. You know, I got my number one. Signed by William Shatner, Captain Kirk himself. So that is my prize in my Star Trek collection of uh, of the gold keys. So he said, yep. "This is for a super fan, Dennis Turner. Give me a new sharpie." Yeah. All right. I see you're going to save that one for last. Sure, why not? All right. Then I will do this, and I'll save my other one for last. So, guys, uh, again, Larry got it. There is your uh, Tales of Suspense, number 71. I love Titanium Man. I, I, I did. You know, I, I was looking for a, a copy that wasn't slabbed, but it, it was there. So, you know what? I just won't go, went ahead and pick it up. I'll find a beater copy or something else at some point. This one's a 4.0. It's not exactly super high copy. Some might say a 4.0 is a beater copy. Yeah. Oh, Dennis, do you have any of do you have any of the original Star Trek movies on 4K UHD? I picked up the motion picture. Yes, I have everyone that they put out in 4K I own. So guys, I just like in Star Wars, I had them on VHS. I had the entire series. Then I picked them up on Laserdisc. Then I moved into DVD. Then I moved into Blu-ray and now 4K. So yes, I have traversed all the different formats uh, with Star Trek. So I even have the uh, the Blu-ray Star Trek series where they had the original cut and then they updated all the special effects like Star Wars did where it has both versions on it. Also uh, a very awesome. Yeah. If I do that for Turner Guy, will he leave me alone? Shatner? No, he still won't leave me alone. He still calls me. Yes, I'm 91. Why do you hound me? Crack it open. Oh, wow. Yeah, I got a hammer downstairs. Wow, Hyper Guys, you. I haven't seen you in a while. Hyper's back. What is up, my brother? It's been a long time. The Don, what's up, you fabulous? We are just going over our great stuff from the convention. Speaking of great stuff, I give him credit for this one too. This is a nice one. 8.0. Yeah. Rich Buckler cover. Rich Buckler. Planet of the Apes number one. Oh, yeah. You know, we will be seeing Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes when that comes out. Well, of course. I've enjoyed almost everything that they put out there. I've even picked, been picking up the magazines, just like I am for the $6 million man. But yeah, Larry had this one and. Got to get it. So I, I've got to get it. 
I've got a lot of uh, unslabbed uh, ones, um, but you know, th this was a good find. All right, drum roll. Our final two. Final one. And then you guys get to vote. Vote on me being the coolest? Don't waste your time, guys. We know right. There's no point in, in another book your vote. from Big Carl. Carl! Uh, this is fpguniverse.com. Uh, showed it to Aaron Lepresti last night. He said it was a Kickstarter. I never knew about it. Came out six, seven years ago, something like that. $50, nice and thick. The art of Mike Plug. The art of Plug. Love that painting on the cover. Uh, it's got some great scans of original pages on the inside. Nice biography about him. I'm only, I'm not even halfway through reading it. This is the one I'm reading, and then I'll do Ditko next. Uh, just fantastic stuff. Uh, I never knew, for instance, Mike Plug was in the Army. I never knew that there were five issues. I think it was Werewolf by Night, he said in here. At the time this came out, this is like five years ago or so, six years ago, uh, he never got his artwork back from the first five Werewolf by Nights. Uh, Graham told me yesterday that he actually did get issue one back. So uh, very cool book. Big Carl, this book goes for 50 bucks. I got it for 30. Hello. Nice. Uh, on eBay, apparently, it goes for around 100 or so. So got a good deal. Oh, five bucks for Michael Fedora Show. Hello. Merry Christmas, Andy, to you and your family and your co-host. Well, I thank you very much for the five bucks. Very much appreciated. Uh, thank you very much. And Merry Christmas to you. Joe Bernardo, just saw you were streaming. Uh, Tanks, Andy, your boys moved the Niners to the top. They did. You're going to want to go check the beginning of the show because we talked about you, Joe. Glad you showed up. And they pulled the Eagles down to wild card status as of now, which makes me very happy. Uh, so now I need the boys to win out or the Eagles to just lose a couple games and keep those bastard Eagles in the wild card. That's what I'm talking about. And then, of course, your Niner, Niners will probably go to the NFC Championship. And choke. Just saying, you don't know. I mean, you know, uh, mm. anything can happen. That's right. I mean, he still thinks the Packers have a chance. Yeah, I've been realistic all along. So, but they're in the hunt. That doesn't mean a whole lot. But we will see. They, 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 they let the Giants beat them out. They did. All right, guys. Again, Big Carl. Now, this one is cool because it is a slipcase. EC put out uh, a whole Many. bunch of different uh, sets. Some of them are two, some of them are three or four books. They're hard covers. I picked up the science uh, fantasy uh, set that was on there. I looked at them. These were not cheap when they came out, and these have skyrocketed in price. Yes, so they have. I could not afford a whole bunch of these. But boy, oh boy, are these cool. This one, well, here, I was going to say show show that one. Look at this. Look at the signatures that, that are in, in this book. We can't read them all, but we can read Joe Orlando signed it. Al Williamson signature. Uh, Angelo Torres. Uh, let's see if I can figure out that one. That, that begins with the H. Uh, I swear I saw a name with an H in here. Could be... Nope. Yeah, I got no. The other ones I have no idea, unfortunately. But getting Joe Orlando, Al Williamson, and Angelo Torres signing this bad boy. This is fantastic. Great Wallywood artwork. Yeah, flip open uh, one of the pages and just kind of show them. So, you know, they are they are black and white. But, guys, this is really cool stuff. They The cover, they reprint in full gloss and color. And it's fantastic. But it, this is a, a slipcase with the you know both of them in it together. This is uh, this is just the classic time for this stuff. Little Al Winston right here, uh, Wally Wood on the back cover, just gorgeous stuff. This one of weird course. science, incredible science fiction, uh, guys. If I trust me, mm. this one ran me one hundred and twenty bucks um, for that set. There were a number of other ones that I really was looking in. 
you know, but they were 160 on up from there. Um, I just picked a, a few that really piqued my interest, and I, I definitely went with this one. So, Big Carl, that was just awesome uh, stuff. That's right. And uh, Agent Cub, so it's time to vote, guys. Oh, Andy or me, who right got the there. best ones? Agent Cub was right. Dennis, with those books, is the clear winner. I totally agree. Uh, by the way, Joe, it is added. If they stuck to their word, today's the last today. Yeah, today's the last day. It's in theaters. It was yep. only supposed to be a week. They made it two weeks. If you haven't seen Godzilla Minus One, check your local theaters and get your butt out there tonight. You can check out tonight, our review, both uh, um, the Andy Smith Art Channel and the at Dennis Turner YouTube channel. We've got That's our right. reviews up. So, guys, oh, what can I say? Randy, of course. Oh, whatever. Who got more bang for their buck? This guy did. Eh, don't know about that either. I got some really good deals. I see you're just going to be obstinate today. Yeah, that's every okay. day I got to put up with this crap. Uh, Planet of the Apes is the best because of the George Tusca art. Oh, did George draw the inside of that? I was going to ask because it's slab, so it's not like we can see. So, oh, that's cool if George Tusca drew the inside of it. I'll just have to take it from him and crack it because I'm a bully, and that's what bullies do to little guys. Yep. So go ahead and try. Oh, I will. And when I say little guys, I mean his insane. Very short. Very short. So, guys, for those of you that just joined us, you can go back and rewatch because there were a lot of books up, for, up front that we were uh, uh, showing you guys. Uh, not impressed until I see a dragon rage in your collection. Oh, nice. Oh, well. Wow. I guess, I guess we need to go out and, and do that dragon rage. Rage like a dragon. That's what I'm talking about. So yeah, Christmas is around the corner. Um, it's just it's it's such a great time of year to me. It really is a magical time of year. I love this season. Once uh, once we start getting into September, it just seems like time flies by. Next thing you know, it's like, oh damn, I got to do Christmas shopping. I'm still not done. And I only buy for one person. Well, I, I buy for my wife. And, of course, my wife and I split the buying chores for our daughter. But my wife's got the, the, the heck of a lot of work buying for, you know, extended family and stuff. It's fun, though. It's hectic. It's hard to believe it's only a couple weeks away. Uh, let me see here. Agent Cub says uh, Andy would have won if only he had a bewitch in his collection. Bingo! Again, you guys are awesome. Oh, well. You know, out of all these that we do, I think I've won the bulk of of all of these. So love you guys. Not a contest. I can, it is a contest. It's not a contest. It is. We it's even not. had Aaron Lepresti on once with the contest. Uh, Andy and Dennis, who do you think the MVP of the league is? Purdy or Dak? Uh, right now, I hear a lot about Dak, but I don't know. It could be Purdy. It, it could be a Purdy-looking Dak. What did I just do there? Core Draft was a great read. Really looking forward to what's to come. Thank you so much. That's what we like to hear. Guys, after you read it, please let us know on social media what you guys think. Do not, please do not spoil the ending for anybody. Uh, and do not, we, we will say this now, we may, we may, as we're shipping out more, we may change our letter because do not go right to the end of the book. It's yes. a great ending. And I saw some people posting flips on there and they literally went right to the end of the yeah, book. That's right. Keep you don't to do want to do that. You, yes. you want to read it in order for a reason. Guys, the feedback has been stellar. So yeah. I don't think I could have asked more from you guys. Um, I am glad you guys are enjoying it. Feel free to contact myself, Andy. Let us know what you guys think. We're already working on number two. Not so much in the couple weeks here because we're busy fulfilling and getting everything out to you guys. But absolutely, I'm loving the feedback that we are uh, getting. Yeah, uh, I can't say it any better. I second what he said. Just uh, – I'll, I will reiterate the point of do not flip to the end of the book. It'll ruin it. And you don't want to ruin the ending of Core Draft. So just read it in order. And there you go. Joe Bernardo is going to post an unboxing. That'll be awesome. Don't flip through it. Uh, 
Billy Tucci, She, 30th Anniversary, Original Art Edition. Go check it out, guys. Billy is doing this beautiful art book. Nice oversized hardcover. Definitely check that out. Uh, yeah, it's not a contest <laughs> unless Aaron wins. Oh, I know. I, I know how he rolls. We, we do know how that rolls. That, that was really funny. Uh, we when do you think you'll have the reprints in, uh, the, the revised, uh, reprints of, uh, cover four, we were told should be done tomorrow. So then they have to ship out. So hopefully early next week and, uh, we can get on those. I mean, in the meantime, there are a lot, there, there are some single issue cover fours that people bought. You might be one of them, but there are also a lot where people got the bundle and the get it all tier. So until the cover four comes in, we're just going to be putting it together packages. And uh, once four comes in, we can just start popping those in to the pre-done packages. So we'll have saved a lot of time just by doing that. So, so that's what we're going to be doing. We, our goal is to get everything fulfilled as soon as possible. We want everything out. We would, Hope that everybody, except maybe some of the people overseas, would hopefully get it by Christmas. So the bulk of everybody, that would be a great Christmas present. Um, yeah, yeah, that's, that's our, it's all we can do, guys. We're, we're we're doing them as quick as we can. We have popped out seven. What? How many we've completed so far? Over seven hundred. Yeah, well over seven hundred uh, have have been out. So you know, big boxes, small boxes. Um, you know, you know, the interesting thing is seeing what everybody got. I know people have already asked, well, wh what'd you sell the most of guys? It's across the board. You guys, some of you really love the original covers, you know, that the heavy metal style. Some of you really liked our guest covers, the homage covers. That's all I can say. Yeah. Right? Another one. Yep. That's right. Awesome. Terms nine. Hell, what is up? Arriving by next week. Can't wait. That's fantastic. Um, yeah. Dennis, have you ever gotten comics for Christmas? You know, a couple of times. That isn't something that most people got me. Um, back when I was collecting my X-Men, my wife was pretty smart. She decided to go down to the local comic shop. She went through my collection because, you know, I've got everything alphanumeric. She saw what I was missing and she went down and talked to them and said, here's what he needs. And she went and bought me some really decent looking uh, X-Men. They were, they, they were probably, I was trying to remember, I think she got me three. Um, they were in the 40s, 50s, and I think one of the... Uh, the reprints in the uh, in the early seventies, so they were all missing issues. So yeah, I have gotten comic books because my wife took the time to do it because she loves me. Oh, yeah, my uh, yeah. I mean, Helen's gotten me comics a few years when I've, you know, I've I've suggested to her. I give her like maybe a list of five or six, and it's you know she'll surprise me with a couple. But the the thing I remember the most is my my mom and dad in the. Uh, Oh man, what was it? Was it? I guess it had to be in the in the mid to late nineties. Um, you know, they always asked what we wanted for Christmas and stuff, and you know, we give them a list, and I gave them a list of like just a a, a run of spawns that I needed, you know, from a certain number, you know, to a, a certain number, whatever. And I do. I remember for Christmas, they got me like 20, 20 issues of Spawn in a row that I was looking for. And I really didn't expect it. I mean, I put it down on the list, but I'm like, ah, they probably won't take the time to do it. But it'll be different. I'll put some. I'll put that on the list. And they did. They surprised me with it. So that was uh, that was really cool. And then, you know, they've got me. I've gotten art books and stuff like that before. So. But. <laughs> so, so are these for your kid? No. <sighs> My, My husband. husband. You know, it would be something like that. It would be. Joe, We, do you still have your bet? Yes. Which Who's going to have the better season? Cowboys or 49ers? Double or nothing? Problem, though, Joe, is what happens if, because you guys really never uh, did that on, on stream, what if you both wind up with the exact same record? Is there a tiebreaker? Is it who wins the division? Because it is the end of the season. Right. And that means not playoffs counting. So 
if uh, if the season ended now, they'd both be ten and three, and I would win. Yep, and that is Andy Math, by the way. For those of you just tuning in, that is about how he does mm-hmm. it. Well, because when it when it's a tie and the Cowboys are involved, they always win. One Christmas, the family went to the comic book store. I shopped and got my whole hot, but I think it's got my whole stack of pull list. Oh, that's wow, cool. that is cool. Except special cases like Robotech Red Hunter. Great, uh, great comic, by the way. And by the way, guys, one cool comic that did come out for those of you accusing me of being a DC hater. Oh, look, at um, this. they came out today with the uh, playoff count. Oh. I think that's acceptable. Whoever gets farther in the playoffs, if it's the same record, if you guys have the same record, whoever goes better in the playoffs. So we will see. Get good idea. Um, Batman came out today. You guys remember 1988. You dialed the 1-900 number to find out, do we kill Robin or do we keep him safe? Well, DC had printed both the stories did he die or did he, you know, survive? And I think it was in September of 88 was when we voted. And then it was published the very next month in October. We all know now that everybody by large numbers voted to kill Robin. Well, they decided to release today the basically what if, what if Robin had lived? What is that story? So I will be doing a quick flip of it, and I will be doing a full review of it this week, um, just because I am sure many of you voted that are our age back there. I know I voted, pissed off, uh, uh, you know, people that we, we all had the same phone number and we got charged money for doing it, but it was well worth it, no matter if you voted once or voted a hundred times like certain people that I know. <laughs> and he's not talking about me. Um, yeah, uh, that is literally the only book I picked up this week was that facsimile edition of the version of Batman where Robin lives. And I only looked at like the first couple pages because I don't want to ruin anything. I've got the trade paperback of Death in the Family. And uh, I'm looking forward to reading that tonight, probably. Just uh, good old Jim Aparo, Mike DiCarlo, Jim Starlin writing it. So should be fun. John said, I cannot believe I missed uh, an almost an hour. Thanks for the... So, guys, that is a YouTube issue. Um, that is why make sure you subscribe to both Andy's and my channel, um, the Andy Smith Art and the at Dennis Turner, the DNA Show channels. And we set, we both send out updates. YouTube should be sending you, so make sure your bell notification is activated. And it should, but you aren't the only one. We already had some people earlier that said that. Um, you know, guys, that's all we can do. We usually try and do it where it's 3 p.m. almost every Wednesday um, so that you guys know when to tune in to us. This one, because we're fulfilling core draft, we needed to work through 3 p.m., and, and later so we can get the books down to the post office. Next week, guys, again, this will be a special one. It will be later next week. We are planning on, um, we should have a, most of our books out by then. You guys know, many of you bought us a beer at the, you know in the tier. So we will be going down to one of the local breweries, which we're very excited about. And um, live streaming from there as we buy beers, as we did with when Andy finished First Man, we will be telling you the beers that we are buying them and trying them ourselves because these won't be standard beers. These will all be fancy local breweries. And guys, That's right. that is right. It will be the drunk stream. We, um, we are hoping we have talked to both Bud Root and... Uh, um, and a few others that hopefully will maybe be able to join us for the stream. Um, we are having designated drivers, so none of you guys have to worry about that. That's right. Unless he drinks so much, he keels over. And there is a possibility. Could happen. You never know. But hey, guys, that is the show for today. Uh, like the name of my book, we like to keep it. Uh, Nice and tight to an hour. Speaking of nice and tight, there it is. The comic book pencil art of Andy Smith. That's me. 
Uh, 71 backers, $5,668. I need to update the stretch goal once we hit 6,000 bucks. Once again, it's an art book and the best gift I can give you for backing it is more pages. It is a 60 page book now, up from 52 pages. Once we hit six grand, it'll be a 64 page book. So go check out nice and tight. See some pencils that... I did for anchors uh, when I was working at the other companies. If you're not the anchor or the editor, you probably didn't see these pencils. So it's a book you can learn from if you want to see what nice full pencils look like in different rendering styles. If you want to practice inking, get the digital one as well. So you can ink digitally or make your own blue lines to print out. And of course, there is the new sketchbook. Well, New from the standpoint of, it's one of my favorites, put it out a few years back, 64 pages, reprinting it with an additional 20 pages of new material to make it 84 pages at the same cost that it was at 64. Now through Christmas for 125 bucks, you can get the two hour tutorial where I will on a private stream, go over your work, pencil pages, finished pages, inks, colors, whatever you want for two hours. You get the video when it's done so you can refer back to it whenever you want. So, guys, go check that out. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, just inside, um, uh, I will check when I get home. Um, I saw both your posts. Oh, I have shit. all the Marvel DC ones, so it's just a few of the, uh, the gold key that I am missing. I'll see if I have that one. Um, so just hit me up. Uh, Joe goes, when I come to Carolina for Heroes Con, guys, for those of you that like to do really great comic book mainly conventions, Heroes Con here in Charlotte is a great convention. Um, I know some of you are, are definitely coming back this year. Um, and Joe, you know, we will definitely do something, especially if you come out a day or two early. We will be able to do something uh, really awesome. There you go. And guys, thank you for joining us. Like we said earlier, tomorrow night, we're going to watch Lady Ballers, the comedy from the Daily Wire. So look for that review first thing Friday morning. That's right. That's right. Until then, thank you for joining us. We're going to grab some pizza. Mm, mm, mm. Yep, guys, I and I don't know if Chris will be joining us. I doubt it because he works uh, He works later, but we, we will see. Anyway, we will let you know as we get closer to Wednesday, but we will be live streaming from there. All right. Bye-bye, everybody. Have a great night. Go watch the rest of the Great Beers. Thanks for tuning in. Nice and tight, the comic book pencil art of Andy Smith. That's me. This book features 52 pages of some of my favorite full pencils that I did for other companies over the past two decades. The raw pencils as they were seen by the inker and now you can see them for the first time. This book also comes in a digital format so you can practice your inking in your favorite program.